But I think the big thing is, is we took a full-time position who had millions of other responsibilities that I exaggerate. Many, many other responsibilities, but he was a busy guy and yet he had to go and fiddle-faddle with the complexity of VMware from day to day. And so we moved to scale and that went away. The VMware product was extremely complicated. Updates were always nightmarish. Uh, while they would fix some things, we'd have other things, uh, problems arise. It felt like this is the evolution of virtual machines and where they're going. We don't need to have all the complexity and all that that we've had in VMware. We just need something to turn on a VM, get something up and running fast. Uh, we really wanted something that was highly available. The system we were operating in VMware was kind of highly available, but as you know, if you've done your research, it's very expensive to make it highly available and redundant. When I needed to do something, I went to our VMware expert and we had to try to back it up or do different things and clone it. Or, and that, that was hard because I didn't have all the expertise I needed and he went to a one week class to learn all the ins and outs of VMware, how to connect it to Ecologic and then the high SCSI connections and, and there was a lot involved. The uh, guy that works for me, Jeremy, is a terrific uh, infrastructure guy, but we're a small group and he has a lot of responsibilities um, and I can't send him to get educated on VMware every time I turn around. And so that became kind of a challenge. How do we get the most out of this environment um, and, and do it with essentially a very small group? VMware scared me in the sense that we're very small and it was going to be way too much. For, I, I was afraid I was going to have to hire this VMware guy that was going to have to come into our company just to run it and I just couldn't do that. We had looked at a traditional VMware deployment. Uh, we got an initial quote back. It was ridiculously expensive and uh, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to do both the infrastructure refresh and our disaster recovery plan on the budget that we had. I just couldn't see sinking another $60,000 into a computing environment um, that I wouldn't A, get the performance out of or the storage uh, and then maintain a nimble environment as well. So the big thing for me was there's got to be a way to reduce costs. If I was going with a what I would call an older mentality, I would have went with that but I knew this was the new thing. Hyperconverged to me was just, that was, that was it. And I wanted to be on the leading edge, especially in, 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 a, in an institution where money's always gonna be an issue. And if I'm buying into older technology, then I'm still behind the curve and I wanna to try to lead it as much as possible, even though money's an issue. Um, I found scale and the, they were the answer. That's the old system. This is the new way to do things. I'm convinced that we don't need that complexity.